Hey, what's going on YouTube? Chuckles again with another Diablo 3 video, another build video, I'm sure you're not surprised. Today we're going to be taking a look at my Witch Doctor. Um, so I use the, uh, the pet build on my Witch Doctor, so I'll go ahead and go into the skills first. And normally I would start from top to bottom, left to right, but this time I have to start with the passives in order for you to understand the build. So, first passive I'm going to get into is Fetish Psychophants. So this just got a major change during patch 2.0.5. Uh, it's no longer when you cast spells you have a 5% chance to summon a, a fetish. Now it's a 10% chance, so it's been upped from 5 to 10%, but you have to be hitting a something, like hitting an enemy. So my entire build revolves around fetish psychophants and the, the pets, so we'll get, we'll get into the rest of them now. So I use on my primary Plague of Toad, Reign of Toads. It has the best proc percentage, and it's a channeling spell, so it has technically the highest amount of chance to proc a fetish psychophant, which is what the build revolves around. It also doesn't cost any mana, so it's great for witch doctors. On my right click, <coughs> I use Piranha's Piranado. It's great for, um, here we'll just take a look at it. When you do this, it mobs them all up and puts them in a group, so then you can just spam your Reign of Toads right on top of them to produce more um, fetish psychophants, the, the fetishes. Um, it's just great for mobbing them up. Number one key, I use Spirit Walk with Jaunt. It's great for getting out of desecration, getting away from frozen orbs, just everything. Plus it speeds you up by 50% of 50 extra movement speed. Um, it's just great. Like I, Every witch doctor should be using Spirit Walk. There's no reason not to. Big Bad Voodoo Slam Dance for my second key. This is my major cooldown. This is what I use when um, I hit an elite pack or a champion pack or bosses at the end of rifts. Um, basically, you and all your allies standing in it get a 30% increased damage buff. It's just amazing. I use Summon Zombie Dogs for number three because it is a pet build. Now I go Life Link. That way, you you and your dogs, or well, your dogs basically take 10% of the damage that you would take. Um, you could also use le Leeching Beasts. It would work very well with this build as well. Um, I switch them off on and on, to to be honest, but. I like Life Link the most. Um, I like a standard 10% damage done to me, or less done to me and done to them, as opposed to having to have them attack something to gain the life on hit. So that's kind of why I use Life Link. Number four, I use Gargantuan with Restless Giant. Um, I could go Wrathful Protector, but I, I don't like the fact that the Gargantuan's only there for 15 seconds. I like to have him all the time. So I go Restless Giant. Um, five enemies are around, or when it hits an Elite, which is rares, champions, bosses, uh, other players, if, you're, if you happen to be um, PvPing. And also, it works on Treasure Pygmies and Treasure Goblins. But what it does is... For 15 seconds, he gains 20% movement speed, 35% attack speed, and 200% extra physical damage. So it basically just doubles him and makes him a total badass. For first passive, I use Tribal Rights, lowers the cooldown on my Gargantuan, summoning Zombie Dogs, and my Big Bad Voodoo. Uh, it also works on Fetish Army, but in this build, you no longer need to use Fetish Army. It's kind of like a useless skill unless you're going like Jade Harvester or something like that. Uh, Jungle Fortitude, I use this. This can actually be switched out. This is like one of the optional ones, but I use it because my gear is extremely terrible at the moment. Um, so I use it just to... You and your pets take 15% less damage. I use it just for survivability and higher torments. Um, I usually run Torment 1 and 2 with this character, but if I'm rifting it forward, I go all the way up to T2 or T3 and T4 sometimes. Um, fetish Psycho Fence we already talked about, and then Pierce the Veil. All your damage is increased by 20%, but your mana costs are increased by 30%. We only use one skill that uses mana, Piranado, and it's got a 16 second cooldown and costs 250 mana, so mana is never an issue on my Witch Doctor because I have 890 of it. So Paragon Points. In Core, I go Movement Speed to Cap. I only have 12% native, so I use 13% in Paragon Points, and then I'm going the rest Intelligence. Offense, now it's a toss-up here. I go critical hit damage because it's better for my character um, and for my character sheet DPS, which I realize doesn't mean a whole lot, but I, I use it because it gives me more DPS because I don't have much native on my gear. But attack speed is actually the better of the choice because all of your pets benefit from attack speed as well. In defense, you're going to want to go resist all. 
because intelligence also gives you all resist 10% of your intelligence so if you have 7,000 intelligence you have 700 all resist so this will just give you even more and lets you stand in stuff while you're channeling your brain of toads there so that's why I go resist all next I would probably choose armor over life um, I don't really need the life I'm at 440,000 that's plenty for me utility I go life on hit after life on hit I would probably do area damage resource cost reduction is extremely useless and gold find would only be good if you were having gold problems which I find that you make enough for what you spend so basically the whole build is to summon your dogs get your gargantuan going spirit walk if you get in any trouble paranado to mob them up rain of toads all over their heads and get your fetishes rocking and rolling so we'll cover my gear all of it is just basic stuff um, the only piece that I would say that is nice for a pet build is going to be my offhand 30 percent of my damage you take is redirected to your dogs that's awesome so you want to try and get this Eucapian serpent um, other than that the rest of it is all interchangeable if you are going to stack elemental damage you're going to want to go for physical because that affects your big bad voodoo your summon zombie dogs your gargantuan and your fetishes the fetishes that you spawn um, also deal physical damage so you're going to want to go like physical stone of jordan um, you're going to go star metal curry or whatever it is um, and for the helmet you really want to try and find a mask of jerem i haven't got lucky enough to get one just yet so that's my Witch Doctor build, and as always, I'll leave you guys with a little bit of sped up gameplay footage so you can see how it works in action. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one, guys. Have a good one.